A crespy man is a moral and spiritual person, a lifelong learner, and a productive and mature person. Not only does Marvel Tsell embody every aspect of what his school stands for, but the star safety wants to make a statement of his own on the football field. Well, I think the special ones are like that. You know, they just get it. They, they understand that it's not about this level. They're always trying to play to their best level. And Marvell gets that in, in every area of his life. I think he pushes himself academically, socially, spiritually, and obviously athletically. When Marvell isn't busy hunting down would-be receivers, he spends his free time tackling another sport, fishing. Sometimes we'll go to Carson or uh, right up here in the, in the valley. Uh, there's a little pond and go fishing and it's just fun and relaxing for the family. Tell doesn't have time to cast a line during the season but does apply the fisherman's early riser mentality for football of by 5.15 a.m. to make morning workouts. Uh, it's just something that my dad instilled in me as a, as a youth, you know, uh, discipline and, and hard work and dedication to get you to where you want to go. The hard-hitting safety carries a 3.5 GPA. Tell admires players that have formidable IQs. Two of his favorites are the Seahawks' Cam Chancellor and the Redskins late Sean Taylor. Uh, they're both just physical guys and they're, they're always, they always seem prepared coming into a game because you know they, they just always know where to be at the right time. Usually Marvell deals the blows to his opponents but he took a hit of his own that cut his junior season short. A broken collarbone against Notre Dame. It was rough sitting on the sidelines and, uh, you know, when I'm used to being out there playing with my, with my brothers. And, but uh, I learned a lot. I had a lot of mental reps. And, uh, you know, I, I remember that coming into this season. So, you know, I worked hard in the weight room to help prevent those injuries. Tell's eventual progression to collegiate football will leave a significant hole in the South secondary. Next on deck to possibly fill that role, junior Anthony Doxey. Marvell's brother. For the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles, I'm Trevor Zeiler.